Okay. Let's go. Alright. We're throw out a thousand RPM. Heels on the floor, get your feet off the brakes. And use the power to control your speed. We'll be talking about this speed right here. You see how there's barely any load on the engine? That way, if we need to stop, we can just bring it all the way to idle and then the airplane just coast, coast to a stop. Doesn't need to be riding the brakes. Especially here. Pretty smooth. Better line here. Houston traffic, Bonanza 233 Sierra Charlie is departing the uh, west ramp for runway 33. Is it going to fly over here? <laughs> Extreme short takeoff and landed. That's good right here. Right rudder there. Right rudder. Yeah, so 
Horn, there you go. There we go. Come on, right rudder. Yeah, push it out a little bit more, that's good right there. Right. More back pressure is needed. Where did it go? There it go. There we go. West Houston traffic, Bonanza 249 on Whiskey Lima, uh, downwind for 33, West Houston. West Houston traffic, 2 for 9 or Whiskey Lima turning face for 3 3. West Houston. That's been super. What heading would it be flying? Um. Three one nine. West Houston traffic up three and a half three is northwest of the airport to land runway three three West Houston. West Houston traffic two four nine on Whiskey Lima turning final for three three West Houston. Sounds like Woody. Yeah. Land around in Bonanzas. Yeah. As we leave 1,000 feet, you can do your after takeoff. Okay. Climbing. And we'll keep climbing up to 1,000. Uh, we'll go up to 2,500. 1,500, okay. Yep. Full max power. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can turn your fuel pump off and your landing light off. Verify the fuel pressure, we're still in the green. Still in the green, alright. And then just relax and enjoy the flight. I got my certificate and everything. They give a certificate for that? Yeah, it looks just like a pilot's license. Really? I never showed it to you. No? Yeah. It's a, I don't have it with me right now. Oh. Yeah. It wow. looks like our flight it looks like our pilot's licenses. Except it says pilot flight attendant on the back. Already. I'm not current. We got to do every current every two years. All right. We did it every year though. Yeah. Let's right, get climbing up to 2,500. West Houston traffic, 2,400 West Kilima, all five. <sighs> right, so the GPS here. If you want to uh, navigate with the GPS, uh, pretty much the direct key. It's going to be your best friend. Here we know the identifier for cause station. So easiest thing to do is we're going to hit direct. Bring up to your waypoint. We're going to set our waypoint cause station as so we're going direct. Use the little cursor to scroll through these um, characters. Right now we're uh, Kilo is going to be the first one. Then we're going to go Charlie Lima Lima. So see. L L and then hit enter enter and then you're just gonna have a direct to key. Uh, when you have this is gonna be the map page, your navigation page here is gonna give you some information our uh, distance, our track three one nine like you said. Our ground speed right now we're doing ninety six over the ground and uh, we have an estimated time and route of thirty two minutes. Oh. So it's really useful, you know, to get um Time, distance, calculation, information, things like that as well. Two 
You could also, if you're going to be doing stop at different places, you create your own flight plan and put different waypoints on here. If you're going to college station, then you can plan to go somewhere else. You could also do um, waypoints, put them on the flight plan, then you can fly directly to those things. You can also put VORs on there, fly to VORs. Lewis, we should take a plane somewhere before we leave. Yeah. Go do aerobatics in the 150. That sounds like fun. Alright, so level off here, 2,500. Just trim the airplane for sprint level. You can play with that autopilot as well if you want. Uh, put the heading bug with this one over here. Put it where you want it to follow. Three, one, nine. Yep. That's about uh, right there. Yeah, so turn it on. Make sure that the heading bug gets selected. That's on right there. All right. And then you let it go. And it's going to follow that heading bug. The only thing is you got to trim it for straight and level. So you see how it's a little nose up? Yep. So just push forward a little bit and trim it to where you're maintaining altitude. Okay. And that way makes it easier. Alright, if you see on your map there, we're going to be flying right into, or we're going to be flying right by Navasota. Yep. Uh, so there's a VOR out there. We can use the VOR for navigation as well. Uh, can you see the frequency on the VOR there? Sure. Um, come on. There's no rain. Uh, one, that's a VOR. Yeah, there it is. 115.9. Alright, so let's, um, the procedure to navigating with VORs, you want to tune first to the VOR. You want to make sure you identify the VOR, make sure we're listening to the right, uh, right VOR, also that it's not undergoing maintenance. And you want to twist and find out where we are in relation to the VOR. So first thing you want to do is you want to tune to 115.9. Yep. All right, now we want to identify the VOR. The way you identify with this radio, you want to listen in. Uh, this one you have to pull. Some of them you got to push. If this one had a VOR, you actually had to push to identify. This one it says pull to identify. So you pull the lever, turn the volume up, and then you listen in to your nav. So this is nav 2. We got to turn on nav 2. And then we just listen for that MERS code. And uh, you can see it on the chart as well. That's right, right, so that's just, yeah, that's just PMB. Uh, it's just going to have replay every 30 seconds. That lets you know that the... Uh, the VOR is not undergoing any maintenance. All so we right. turn it off, and now we know we're getting a reliable signal off of it. Then after that, we're going to twist. So we're going to twist the OBS there until we get a straight level, uh, needle with a from indication. That's going to tell us what v, uh, what radio we are. So right there, you're tuning to the station. So we're going to keep turning until you have a from indication. So you see how that needle's pointing up? Yep. You want to keep twisting? until you have the opposite. Keep going. A little too much, go back to... That's good right there. Yep. Oh. Alright, so that right there is telling us that we're on the 140 degree radio from the Navasota VOR. Yeah. If you look at the VOR, you see the compass rows yeah. around it. Just find where 140 is. Oh, uh, that's one 
eight. Yeah, we're right on it. Yeah, one four. So if you draw a line straight from that VO from the center of the VOR down for one four zero, that means we're flying straight to that VOR on that radio. Okay. If you want to navigate to since we're flying to that radio, if you look at the heading we're flying, we're actually on a three one nine heading. So since we're getting a radio, we have to fly the reciprocal of the radio, which is three one. Or right now we're about three two zero, about three one nine or so. Yeah. So if you twist it to when you get a two indication, then you gotta be flying a bearing to a state to the station. So right now we're on the bearing to the Navasota VOR, and we're flying the same heading that we're indicating on the VOR. Okay. Also, what you can do with VORs, try and find the industry VORs a little bit to the um, southwest of. Uh, Navasota, yep. Da, 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 da. A little bit. There it, there it is. Yeah, so industry VR, go ahead and tune to that one. 110.2. One, oh, 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 oh. Alright, so yep, go ahead and identify it. Alright, so now do the same thing. Let's try and find the radio we're on. Remember radials, we need a from indication. Oh yeah. 